maximizing efficiency with Great White Z and Odonic Access Burrs. This video will demonstrate the high efficiency and time savings of the Great White Z series of burrs for a denting conserving access through a zirconium crown. Zirconium crowns are notoriously difficult to drill through, but this burr system beautifully solves that problem. We will use the following burrs. The round Great White Z801 diamond, the tapered Great White Z856 diamond, and the Endoguide EG1A. We will start with the 801. This series is specifically designed to cut zirconium, and it will dramatically reduce the time necessary to drill through this hard material. After opening through the occlusal surface, we switch to the 856 round tip tapered diamond and start extending the outline. This access prep will be a stepped access, which means that the opening in the crown material will be wider than the opening into the dentin and pulp chamber. Since widening the opening in the crown does not structurally compromise the crown, it could be open wider to allow for better access and visibility. This first stage is done using the 856 tapered diamond just into the dentin. Notice how efficiently the instrument cuts the metal and zirconium. This is the initial step into the dentin. Now, the EG1A or the endo guide burr will be used to make conservative access into the pulp chamber. With the endo guide, we have clear visibility and better tactile feedback when mapping. It's fast, with no run out as you might find with a round burr. This is the initial second step of the access prep and takes off the top of the pulp chamber. You can see the pulp exposure on the MB corner of the prep. The Explore outlines the first step, which opened up the crown, and the second, more conservative step into the actual pulp chamber. This smaller opening conserves as much paracervical dentin as possible for strength. This pulp chamber outline is now refined with a smaller tapered diamond so that it matches the access points into the canal system. Checking extensions. A little more refinement. And finish. This is the finished step access with a wider, shallower opening through the crown and a narrow, more conservative access into the pulp chamber. It is just wide enough to give access to the canal system and maintains as much cervical dentin as possible. The result 
is a tooth with maximum residual strength, yet one where our endodontic objectives can be gracefully met. All of this in a minimal amount of time, due to the efficiency of the SS White Great White Zebras and the Endoguide Burr.